Hi, welcome back to FP1 and today we're looking at Unit 1.4 Argand Diagrams. An Argand Diagram is just here to represent a complex number. In the diagram the x-axis represents our real numbers and the y-axis represents our imaginary numbers. And then our complex number z we usually then replace with x plus i y or y i essentially replacing what was originally a plus b i so the x replaces the a and the y replaces the b and on the diagram then your real values will be your x values so that will be the distance horizontally and then our imaginary numbers are represented by the y value and that's obviously the vertical and this would be my value of z. You could also think of this complex number as a vector x, y if you prefer. So as four examples here Z1, 2, 3 and 4. So you look at Z1, it's just like normal coordinates. So 3 across, 2 up would be my Z1, first complex number. 2 would be 5 across, 1 down. Z2, Z3, minus 2, 3. So that's where Z3 is. And Z4 there is 5 to the left. 6 down, oh that doesn't fit on my page, let's change the 6 and make it a 4, just so it'll fit on, so minus 5, minus 4, there we are, Z4. So those are plotting my coordinates for my complex numbers. Now we also often look at them in terms of a vector which then goes from the origin. So joining up my first one with my origin, that would then be the vector z1 I suppose, the complex number. Um, the vectors are quite important when we start looking at the angles. Um, but yeah, in the beginning, it's really mainly about just plotting the points on the Argon diagram. But the vectors, like I was saying, they become quite important when you start looking at how we do the, the angles. And there you have the four complex numbers plotted with their vectors. So again, like I said, the vectors become quite important -ish when we start looking at the angles. So this is the modulus argument, which we'll be looking at next. Um, but otherwise, this is generally pretty straightforward. I'm not going to put any an questions or answers with this today, because I think it is, for A level students, is quite basic and, and straightforward, as I said. So uh, please join me in the next video where we look at modulus and argument of complex numbers.